from forbidden fruits to societal shifts, journey through time and witness the evolution of norms. Explore the intriguing tales of reading in bed, once deemed perilous, women breaking fashion barriers with freedom alls, and the scandalous notion of teenagers behind the wheel. Delve into shocking practices like consuming radioactive material and the once taboo art of tattooing. Join us as we unravel the captivating stories behind the transformations of daily habits, societal taboos, and cultural perceptions that have shaped our modern world. Number one, reading in bed. Reading in bed, a habit widely believed to assist in falling asleep, is commonly practiced today. However, in the 19th century, the act of going to bed with a book was likened to tempting fate, risking dire consequences for oneself and others. This negative perception stemmed from the prevalence of house fires caused by the candles used for reading at night. Number two, women in pants. For centuries, societal norms prohibited women from wearing clothing traditionally associated with men. While the first women's pants, humorously named Freedom Alls, debuted in 1918, it remained socially unacceptable for women to don anything other than skirts or dresses until the mid 20th century. Before we move to number three, if you are enjoying the video, please subscribe to our channel. It means a lot to us. Thank you. Number three, teenagers with cars. One could argue that this sentiment still holds true today, as teenage drivers are more likely to engage in risky behaviors, such as driving under the influence or texting while driving. However, a mere century ago, the idea of a 17-year-old behind the wheel of a car was scandalous for a completely different reason. It was seen as a sign of questionable motives or dishonorable intentions. Number four, electricity. When Thomas Edison executed an elephant via electrocution in 1903, it understandably horrified many individuals who were hesitant about the notion of using electricity to power their homes. Number five, not taking drugs. It's difficult to fathom but a mere century ago, substances categorized as hard drugs, such as heroin and cocaine, were not only permissible, but even promoted. Physicians prescribed heroin, including its incorporation into cough syrups, while Sigmund Freud utilized cocaine to alleviate symptoms of both depression and indigestion. Number six, tomatoes. In the 18th century, these delectable fruits acquired a notorious reputation as poison apples due to several aristocrats experiencing lead poisoning after consuming them from pewter plates. It took considerable time for tomatoes to shed this negative image. Even in the 19th century, poet Ralph Waldo Emerson characterized them as objects of much terror. Number seven, horseless carriages. At the dawn of the 20th century, the introduction of cars faced widespread rejection due to their high cost. Many viewed cars as an inadequate substitute for the reliable horse and carriage, which never required tire replacements. Number eight, the color purple. In 1903, the Boston Globe published an article titled, Colors That Will Overwhelm the Mind with Madnesses. The piece contained assertions like purple is the most perilous hue imaginable and a lifeless purple will ultimately lead to demise. Number nine, not consuming radioactive material. Prior to understanding the detrimental effects of radiation on the human body, individuals consumed Radithor, a patent medicine produced by distilling water with radioactive material. Eben Byers, a notable American steel magnate, succumbed to radiation poisoning in 1932. The Wall Street Journal published an article titled the radium water worked fine until his jaw came off, recounting his tragic experience. Number 10, daily washing. During the early 20th century, it was rare for individuals to bathe more than once a week. Water scarcity was a significant factor, and it wasn't until the advent of indoor plumbing that daily bathing became commonplace. Number 11, women on bicycles. At the turn of the previous century, it was widely deemed inappropriate for women to ride bicycles. In 1895, the New York World printed an article outlining various prohibitions for women cyclists, 
which notably included don't decline assistance when climbing a hill. Number 12, living to 100. In 1900, the typical life expectancy for an American man was 48.3 years. Presently, it stands at 76.3 years. With individuals experiencing increasingly longer lifespans, it is now common for someone to reach well beyond the age of 100. Number 13, smoking bans. Until the mid 20th century, smoking was permitted in nearly every conceivable location, including restaurants, bars, and airplanes. Nowadays, indoor smoking is almost universally banned, a notion that would have shocked the average person just a century ago. Number 14, public transport. In modern times, the majority of people utilize some form of public transportation, particularly with the global push toward environmentally sustainable modes of travel. However, trains and buses were not always embraced as they are today. In a 1912 editorial from the Chicago Sunday Tribune, it was claimed that the stability handles and subway carriages could exert a dreadful strain upon internal organs. Number 15, women with tattoos. Merely a century ago, tattoos were associated with criminality and clandestine subcultures. Women adorned with tattoos were often perceived as either prostitutes or circus performers. Today, tattoos are widely accepted in society, with studies indicating that more women are opting for ink than men. If you found this content valuable and enjoyed watching, please consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribing to our channel. Your support means the world to us and motivates us to keep creating more content like this in the future. By subscribing, you'll stay updated on our latest videos and join a community of like-minded individuals. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss out on our newest uploads. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.